Is using God's name as a cuss word worse than other cussing? I'm Pastor Tim. This is Ask a Pastor Anything, where you can ask your questions. And I'm a pastor. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, so this is a series put on by Christ LCC Church. We'd love to get your questions. Throw them in the comments so we can make some more videos. And I subscribe so you see when they come out. So one of the questions that came in is, and I grew up this way, depending on your background, that there's like regular old cussing, and then there's using the Lord's name in vain. I remember one time we were watching a movie, and there'd been various, you know, potty mouth moments. And then at one point, the lead character said the name of Jesus as a cuss word. And uh, we just shut it off. We're like, too far. Can't go there. And, and so where's that come from? What's the concern? Why would that be worse than all the other crass and nasty things he said? Well, some would say, well, in the Ten Commandments, right? It says, do not take the Lord your God's name in vain. So it's a clear violation of the Ten Commandments. That's kind of God's top ten, right? So that's why it's worse. I don't think it's a good idea to use coarse talking. I would base that on other passages that say, let no unclean talk come from your mouth. But I think that's just sort of the normal struggle of speech. I don't think that's what the Ten Commandments was talking about. And this just goes to a deeper issue. We tend to go to the Old Testament, and we like to grab, like, one verse and ignore all the surrounding. And so you know the Ten Commandments are a thing. Most people do. Do they know what was going on in the story when they were given? See, the Ten Commandments are given to Israel because God is entering into a covenant relationship with them. He says, I'm going to draw you out from Egypt, and you're going to become my people, my prized possession, and I'm going to have a relationship with you like I have had with no other nation before or after. You will be my people. I will be your God. And so in making a covenant, this is like a marriage ceremony, he meets with Moses and they write the law to give to Israel to define who they are as a people. And so it's more than the Ten Commandments. There's a whole bunch of other laws and rules that, that give them an identity. Now when you understand that, that what's coming is a new identity. They're getting their married name as they become the people of God. And right there at the beginning, you're going to have no other gods. It's a monogamous relationship. You don't worship and bow down or make idols to any others. And you will not bear the name of the Lord your God in vain. Now, if, if I was at the altar and uh, my wife is marrying me, she's about to take on my name, right? Change her last name. And I said, don't take my name in vain. She'd be like, don't worry, I don't cuss. Well, that's not what we're talking. I mean, sure, don't cuss. But... No, the point was, we're going to have a shared identity. Don't let that mean nothing. Don't make that a lie. So, I mean, to say just don't cuss is really shallow. The heart of it is God saying, I want to have a people who bear my name. That is, you're my people. Don't do that lightly. Actually be my people. We're going to walk together, and you're going to represent me. So what does it mean to take the Lord's name in vain? It's any time we reflect a character different than his. He is compassionate for the needy, the sojourner. When I'm not, I take the name of the Lord my God in vain. He is a God of justice and righteousness who stands for what is true. Every time I compromise on justice and truth, I take the name of the Lord my God in vain. There's probably a lot of folks who cuss but still care about what God cares about. They wear his name well with potty mouths. There's a lot of us with very clean mouths, very clean outsides. We don't represent him well in the way we treat people, the way we interact with the world, how we spend our money, and what we invest our influence in. That's the heart of the Ten Commandments. It's an invitation into a special relationship with God where we bear his name. We are so united with him that we actually are called to represent him. And he invites us into that relationship, but he warns us, if we're going to walk here, if we're going to bear his name, and we don't waste it. We don't misrepresent him. This is a strong calling for us as Christians. We bear the name. Do we bear it in vain?